Hi, it's Danny of, Convention, Danny of Convention of Cosplay, and today I'm going to be interviewing Jared Tusk and Glay and Qu Quantum Destiny. Hi, it's Danny from Convention of Cosplay, and today I'm interviewing. Uh, my name's Alex, and I go by the name Glay. My name's Nikki, and I go by the cosplay alias Quantum Destiny. So, who are you guys cosplaying as today, and what was your inspiration behind it? Uh, we are cosplaying as Sailor Uranus and Sailor Neptune. Right, and our inspiration behind it is we wanted to do another Sailor Fuku, and we wanted to do a pair. So, this is pretty much perfect uh, characters to do it as. Especially with the series being rebooted and everything, the popularity is through the roof now. Now, how long have you guys been um, cosplaying, and what was your inspiration to start? I'll let you take that. Um, so we started, I think, I would say in 2001, and it was maybe we just did it as Halloween, and we chose al anime characters, so I guess you could call that cosplay if it's an anime character. Um, I did uh, Videl from Dragon Ball Z, and I think you did... Uh, I did Chi-Chi from Dragon Ball Z, because huge Dragon Ball Z fans. Yeah, so Dragon Ball is kind of what inspired us to start cosplaying. Um, what cosplays have you guys done since you started, like, both together or and also just individual as well? Um, we've done a lot of costumes, like over 50. Um, over, a, over 100 yeah. between the two of us, 150. Yeah, from, mostly from Dragon Ball Z, but we love all of the old school anime, like Slayers, uh, Sailor Moon, obviously, Revolutionary Girl Utena. Um, we love the new stuff, too. Um, we recently did, uh, finished costumes for Kill a Kill that just finished, and um, oh, I love Beyblade cosplay too. Uh, if anyone wants to cosplay Beyblade with me, hit me up. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Yeah. And um, what would you say is your favorite one, and the one that was the most challenging? Okay, for me, definitely the most challenging costume I ever made was Avengers Thor. Um, I as soon as I saw the movie, as soon as it came out in May. I set to work and it took me four months to replicate it and I think it's my most accurate costume to date. So it was a, a, lots of muscle carving and leather and stuff. Um, I, my favorite is definitely Sun Gohan from Dragon Ball Z. I have cosplayed virtually every outfit he has. Um, definitely his Cell Saga outfit with big muscles, big hair, um, cape and, and everything. Uh, I think that the one that gave me the most trouble that was like way out of my skill depth for a while was probably Lena Inverse. Um, just working with Warbla and like leather and just, you know, trying to get all the gems and stuff going, it was, it was pretty difficult. So I'm pretty amazed that I got that working. So. Now what methods do you guys use when it comes to putting together a cosplay? Start at the last minute. Yeah, that's not a good method. Um, I guess I would say uh, we like to pattern things ourselves. Uh, we don't really use commercial patterns like a lot of people do, like they modify them. What we do is we, we like to um, create our own patterns and that way it fits properly to ourselves. And I think that's what makes our cosplays, you know, uh, look good on us. And that's what we like to do for the method. Yeah, my, my number one advice for making cosplay is proportion. Make sure it fits on your body for you instead of trying to go off the anime. Now, um, I'm sure you guys have won a lot of awards. So what awards have you won? And what was the competition or experience like for you? Um, a lot of our awards came from actually Anime North. Uh, we participated in the Masquerade for pretty much since 2004, since 2004 in the Masquerade. And uh, our award has basically usually been most accurate costume. So I think that's. Yeah, um, we've won a couple of internet awards too, like uh, lookalike contests and uh, Funimation had a Hitalia contest. I won Best Italy and we also won Best Hitalia video, so that's kind of that on the internet side of things. So. And it was like Cosplay Idol thing. Oh, and I was in um, Otaku House Cosplay Idol the first run. I got third place in North American division, so that was great. Yeah. Now, do you guys um, just do um, computer or do you do judging as well? We have not judged anything yet. Um, we were actually, possibly we, we were going to judge the Masquerade this year, but we thought, no, no. I don't know. I'm not really ju judging material, I am. Yeah, we decided <laughs> on doing panels instead. I, I don't really, I can't, I'm, 
not judgmental in that way. Like everybody who's having fun and so on looks good to me. So I don't think I could score and, and go on that way. Now I'm going to ask your opinions on um, cosplay. So the cosplay community is getting more acceptance within it every day, but there's still a lot of negativity. So what does cosplay mean to you guys? It means um, a means of escape, pretty much, uh, and a way to pour all of my extra time into like, a hobby that allows me to have fun with other people on a grand scale. Like I can go to any other state or province and there'll be like an anime club or an anime con and you can share it with other people and there's always, especially it's another step in, deeper into fandom. Like for if you're wearing Sailor Moon, then you can talk to other Sailor Moon fans and things like that. In terms of the negative side of it, um, I know a lot of people think that uh, cosplay is childish, you know, it's expensive, it's, it's weird. Um, why are you dressing up as a cartoon, so and so? Um, but I don't know, it, there are people who think that way about it, like other things as well, like sports nuts. People think, oh, why are you a sports nut, that sort of thing. It's, it's just a hobby and, you know, we're here to have fun. That's kind of what my opinion is. And what would you say? What would you say is you find the uh, thing you like most about cosplaying and the downside that you've like experienced? The thing I like most about cosplaying is wearing my costume. <laughs> and the downside? The downside is that sometimes wearing your costume is not comfortable at all, <laughs> and it really hurts, and you get into terrible situations and that sort of thing. But you know, making, sewing, crafting, you know, the experience overall is good and that's why we keep doing it. And if somebody wanted to go into cosplaying as a regular, on a regular basis and doing what you guys do, what advice would you have for them? Start with what you know. Start with whatever you actually enjoy the most, what you love the most. Start with a fandom that you want to take part in. Uh, don't try to do something that other people tell you to do because you won't have as much fun doing it. Um, yeah, so for new cosplayers, it's so easy to, to start doing it now because you, you know, there's wig resources, you can buy your costume online, um, Google is your friend, yeah. Um, if you want to get into it, uh, you know, just find a group of people, like-minded people, you know, reach out to people in your area and you will find great new friends. Or try it yourself and other people will come to you and what help your help to make the cosplay and it starts from there. Now, what would you guys like to see for the future of the cosplay community? The future, wow. I'd like to, uh, well, I don't know. I, I think I would like to have maybe, <laughs> I'll take you know what? You know how sometimes you have to like scrimp and find a, a, somebody to take your photo? What I want is somebody, uh, like for every con, there's like a photo booth and that sort of thing. I think Anime North does, does that, so that's great. Yeah. Um, for me, probably, since this is pretty much the future right now, back in the day, I had wished for more resources for wigs and, and like different colors and things like that. And, and now it, that's what we have right now. So I guess what I'm looking forward to is make it accessible to everyone. Not, not so much of that elitism where people like bash other people on the internet or say you're the best one of this character. So just let everyone have fun. Um, once the hobby becomes accepting to everyone, then I think everyone will just be a lot happier. And my final question. If people wanted to know more about your work, where would they go to check out information? Her page, <laughs> yeah. Um, I guess we used to use a lot of the uh, community pages that they, you know, like DeviantArt, uh, Cosplay.com, and ACP and that sort of thing. But I, I do have a cosplay page on Facebook now that I'm trying to use more. Uh, so you can go to http.facebook.com uh, slash quantum destiny. It's a uh, page for my cosplay and I feature my sisters all the time. She doesn't like to post it, so. She, she shares my stuff sometimes. Uh, kind of lone wolf when it comes to posting my progress pictures, but yeah. <laughs> Thank you for the interview. Thanks so much.